I think uh, Labour Party, we are still moving on. We are still working harder. And uh, I want to add to this. Because uh, what Ihoza Dokubo said, I think I want to refute it and try to put the people together to understand. She made mention of uh, if anything happens to her, they should hold the Indian people, they should hold South South, they should hold me. I don't understand that statement. Anything happens to her, how, from who? who? Nothing will happen to her. Nobody, I think she's not a party person. So we are not even talking about her matter. She going on her, to, her air to go and say it is wrong. She can't say that. What did she say on air? She said, uh, if anything happens to her, they should hold us, hold me responsible, hold it. How? How? It's not possible. If she has gone to do any wrong thing anywhere, it's left for her. I don't have any issue with her. I worked for Ida, Ida Dokubo tirelessly. To the extent my friends were saying she's my girlfriend. I did not, I didn't, I didn't care about that. I worked from my heart to her. All the campaign, all the moves, everything about you that Dokubo. I worked tirelessly. I was surprised. The eve of the election, her own election, she contested for House of Representatives. The eve of the election, you that Dokubo said that we should, we, should, we, should, we should just step down for the election. We should not come out for the election. Ah, the Asaga chairman too was surprised. She's saying this. So, after the election, they canceled Asaritoru election. I told her, Ida, see your, your election, they don't cancel her more. She said I should leave them. I should just forget about it. With the information and the feed we heard that she has gone to collect money. That's why she's not following up her election. There is no candidate in Labour Party that did not follow up their election. Every candidate followed it up. She came to the office after the election, she said, Ojuka a flag amakri. Collected 50 million on her name to work against her. Ojukaye, that I know, is he a poor man? How can she say that? She started putting blames on people, everybody. I said, fine and good, your election has been cancelled. Take a step and follow it up. She's doing nothing. Rather, she says she wants to come to Labour Party state to come and uh, be the chairman of the party. How? Your election has been cancelled, but follow it up. You don't want to follow it up. Now you want to be chairman on the state. How will you do it? Now, being chairman on the state. Okay, now, if you want to be a chairman, national chairman is not supposed to send letter alone for you. Political party, they are giving you appointment. The national secretary and the national chairman will sign your letter so that you'll be concretized that you have been confirmed. But this one, only the national chairman did. How do you think it will fly? I think they know you as an actress, so they are acting drama with you because they know that uh, what national chairman did won't fly. If you're wise enough and sharp, you'll say, ah, national, let the secretary sign too now so that you will know that you have been confirmed. And Labour Party, we don't have steering committee in our constitution. They brought you, say, one month steering committee. How? Steering committee? Please, either Dr. Bo, go and read the constitution. Nobody is fighting you. Uh, before, we, before we go further, if you have any other things to say with respect to that, but I want to also ask, uh, you've made the strong, uh, will I say, claims about... Uh, some things that she said and some things they say she said. Do you have strong evidence to back these statements, sir? Evidence in respect of what? That she said? Yes. Yes, that is on social media. Have you not seen it? It's there on social media. She has said it. I'll play it for you. I had videos. How me and Ida Dogbo we walked. Videos, pictures. My timeline everywhere is Ida Dogbo. I was singing a song everywhere. To the extent people were asking me, so which kind of interest you get for Hilda? But I was surprised hearing what she's saying. How can I fight her? Me that will stand for her as her brother. Me that will, oh man, it's painful. Hilda Dogbo didn't try. She did not try. If she has collected money to back out for the election, why did she tell us? She could have told me. We were like four persons that was working with her when we started the business. But everybody ran away. I was the only person that was still there with her. But lie, psychic. She started bringing psychic. She, she didn't even buy him food, though. 
She's not doing that. I spend my money in any movement I do with Ida Dokubo. I spend, even when she, uh, Akuga chairman, when he comes to join us, because our constituency is uh, Asaga Akuga, when they come, I spend my money on them. Sometimes they will be angry. That ah, senior man, you revenge, so he doesn't need to try you. I will give them something, uh, leave her, leave her, leave her. If she win, you understand me, she will carry us along. That was the focus. How can I fight my sister? How can I fight my blood? It's not possible. If anybody is fighting her in Labour Party, I will fight the person. That's the extreme I've gone with her. So I'm not talking about her matter. Why is she including me and saying all sorts of things? It's wrong. But don't you think she's also playing safe? Because we know the kind of politics we play in Nigeria too. Okay, as a propaganda or what? No, not as a propaganda. Just to make sure she protects herself by throwing out that, disc, that uh, information out there. Nobody is fighting Hilda Dokubo. Nobody will fight Hilda Dokubo. She remains my lovely sister. I cannot go and fight my blood. It's not possible. I'm a prince in Calabari Kingdom. So I cannot fight my blood. You understand? I can never do it. And nobody in the Labour Party can do it. I will not stand and see them fight my blood. Fight my, I, it will not work. So she's going to say all those things. It's wrong. I've reported the matter to DSS everywhere. Everywhere I've reported it. Because I don't know what she's talking about. I saw one guy that met me. That, ah, he's a doctor. This one, where she did plan you. She did plan this, is that. I'm above woman destruction. No mortal man can kill me. Nobody can do me anything. I will even report the same matter to David Ibeme, our father in the Lord. I will report her in respect of this. Let her come and bring proof. I have clips. I think I will show you videos, pictures of me and Ida Dokubo, how we have worked. How can I fight her now? She that refused to go and chase her own election. Her election in Asaga was cancelled. Ida Dokubo, go and fight. Go to court. She said I should leave it. It's all so and so. And so what? How can I leave it? Other candidates that are not even... Uh, they are not celebrities. They are not exposed. They are, they are still going to court. Then you eat that document. You said, I will sue, I should leave it. So it's, it, it, it's, it's suspicious. So I got to go to uh, um, Asaga to investigate fully. They said she collected money on Friday. That's the essence. So it's, 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 it's wrong. It's wrong. Eat that document is not a politician and she do not want to come down to learn the politics. Okay, let me ask. Could this um, utterance be coming out because? She's been made the caretaker or the steering committee chairman or chair lady. Could it be because of that that you are making these uh, utterances? Sir? I don't know, as in who made her? She has not been confirmed. National, we have constitution in our party. For instance, I was the disciplinary committee chairman. Fabeke, they said Fabeke endorsed Senator Magnus Abe. As a disciplinary committee, we invited him. There was a panel on him. He explained everything to us. How the thing happened, everything. And my team, we didn't see that, no, ah, the guy didn't do any wrong thing. You understand me? Even when uh, Magnus Abe came, the event that he was holding, he told Magnus Abe to move his, his cap, SDP cap. Move your cap. We had the Ogoni movement cap. He explained everything bit by bit to us. And we see that, ah, no, at this very committee, you handled it. So if any matter arises, my brother, we have National Working Committee in Labour Party. We have this planning committee. They will take this matter to this planning committee, then they will take it to National Working Committee before they will act on it. Do you understand? So that's why the National Secretary refused to sign anything. Because he knows that, no, now, if you, even if you're appointing somebody, you will not appoint somebody for one month. You appoint uh, somebody for three or six months. And Labour Party will not have steering committee. It's, it's not in our constitution. So what they gave her is just, I don't know, I don't know. They are acting movie with her because she, they know she's an actress. So I think it's part of the movie. Okay. We know that the Labour Party is bigger than any individual. Just like your principal, Mr. Peter B. announced on TV just uh, some, some days ago. Now, are you saying that Hilda Dokubo should not obey the commands from the party, that she should stay in as interim or steering committee or a caretaker till everything is resolved? Okay, let me, let me come to Pito Obi now. I think Cross River State, 
to be, we have candidates in Cross River for Guba. We have governorship candidates. But Peter will be endorsed the PDP man. He's everywhere on air. I will say that Peter B has gone to play anti party. Or will National go and suspend Peter B? No. He has seen the capacity. You understand? He, he announced it on air that he endorsed the PDP candidates. So is it that the national chairman will come and tell me that he's suspending Peter B? Or Peter B have gone astray? So you see, we are not saying that she will never obey. You understand? No. She must obey. But what they gave to her was not proper because the national secretary did not sign it. The national working committee did not call her to tell her that this is what I, I, is transparent. This is what you would do. Okay, so what if the national secretary signs it now? How will you react to that? If the national secretary have signed it, fine. We will know that, yes, it has not even gone properly because we have disciplinary committee. That committee first will invite us. We invite the team and hear from the team that this is it, this is that. That's what they will do. But nothing like that. They did not do anything like that. You understand? Only the national chairman just signed the people. No, now. He has his officers, people that are working with him. As I said, Fabrique, after my uh, scrutiny, we sent it back to state working committee. You understand me? To give them the report that, ah, this is the report oh, that we've gotten. We agreed. That was why we didn't suspend Fabrique. Did you understand? So, everything had procedures. That is what I'm talking about. So either she, she, she should call the national chairman and tell him, the national, yes, your letter is fine, but your secretary is supposed to sign it with you. So that we will know, we will not fight our national, we will never do that. We will respect our national. Yeah, I mean, we will not fight them, no, we will not do it. But what they did, what national chairman did, is even causing problem there. National secretary said, no, now, you can't do that. Our national women leader came today to meet with the women. And they gave reverse women palliative. They said Peter B is not giving shishi. But he brought palliatives to the women of River State. He that Okubo collected all. She did not give it to our national woman leader, our state woman leader. She's the one that they are supposed to give the thing. Because Ida Dokubo was in Abuja, they gave it to her. Ida Dokubo did not bring it to state. She collected all the palliative that is meant for rivers women. The megaphone they brought, they gave it to me. I dropped it in my office for Asari Toro and uh, Akuku Toro me me megaphones. Ida Dokubo went to the office and met uh, my secretary and collected this from the girl. The girl didn't drag with her. She collected all the megaphones. She did not give one to any word. Each megaphone is for word, for campaign. And we have constituency one, constituency two. You understand me? She did not give it to anybody. Is it that she came to grab, 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 grab? No, no. Don't do that. It's not politics. As I speak, the women of River State, Labour Party women, in 23 AG, they are, they are against her. They are fighting her seriously. You hear it, you hear it. You understand? So is it that she should compose herself? I think uh, politics is not movie. I shot a movie sponsored by NDDC. I'm an NDC contractor. You know, I know what it is. You know, so she should not bring movie into politics. No, no. You know, the women are angry. I am the one coming the even they nearly embarrassed her in the office. But I calm them down. I say, ah, leave her. Because she's my sister. I've been protecting Ida Dokubo. Ask her, she knows when she came to the office, what happened. I told all of them to calm down. I carried all of them inside my office. Ah, calm down now. Ah, yeah, you people should calm down. You understand? They are not happy. How can you take 23 LGA palliative alone? You refuse to share it. Now they say you Peter B is stingy. Peter B is not giving anything. Abba, how? It's wrong. Okay. Before I come to the the best way to resolve this, who is running the Labour Party office right now? Who is running? The Labour Party office, the fiscal office right now, D line. Who is running it right the now? The Labour Party office at D line. Go go NC front. You understand? He, he, he told us we have our office there in D-Line. You know? 
He told us that, please, we should come and take this office. It's bigger. You understand me? That is bigger. My state chairman, that's why I have issues with him first. Because me, I am one person that I don't manage to like what I don't like. I don't manage it. I go straight. I tell you there and then. I don't put anything in my mind. That, that's me. I told him, the people, my brother, what's up? Which name is there in this receipt that these people are giving to us? Because they gave us the office, yes. You understand me? He said, hey, Harry, no worry now, nah, no worry. I stopped my executives. I said, we are not going there. He went and told people that Harry don't want us to go to the office. I said, let us know. Because I don't know what will happen tomorrow. It's like I knew before I said all these things. He said, Harry, no problem now. Harry, let's go, let's go. Now look at what the Gogo is doing. He said, NC Front gave us the office. So they want to take back their office. Will you go and fight them? You won't fight them. You understand me? So the fault is from my chairman. Did you understand me? If our name was there, Labour Party, River State, there is a receipt in respect of that. My brother, nobody can come close. Nobody can come close to the office. But now they are saying it's NC Front office. Will you go and fight them? You won't. That is the essence of it. So MC Front, who is he siding at this point? Who that? MC Front. Is he for, for your team or is, it, is, is he for Hilda's team right now? No, now the NC Front is the Gogo now that said he's the secretary to Ida now. The Gogo is the secretary to Ida Dokubo. He's the one that came to meet us. That, ah, that our office is not too big. People should come and take this one. He's the same person now that is coming that uh, is NC Front that paid this thing. You understand me? I, I, Ida Dokubo too, she's NC Front. You understand me? So they are just doing it's NC front office, it's not Labour Party office. That's what is happening now. Do you understand me? And if they want to take the office as NC front, they will remove the paint. They will repaint it. They will repaint the office. Because if they don't repaint it, it will take them to court. They cannot parade Labour Party and say, no, no, it will not fly. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that is it. We are a few days away from the from the state's uh, election. If what? We are a few days away from the state's election. How will you be able to cope with the current situation, not having a fiscal office right now? Uh, I think uh, now we are still on it. My interview last time, I said, we are, we are looking up to Madame. We are looking at her, but Madame, I think she is not ready to do anything. And we will stand our ground. Because we've been neglected. We've been neglected, my brother. To the extent our daughter told my woman leader to her face that executive and LJ chairman will stand at the gate of government house if they win, we will not come inside. So what? We don't have any faith in madam. We don't have any hope. Madam, I've not sat with us. I say, ah, uh, Labour Party people have tried, though. What is this? This is how we'll do it. My government, I'll give you commissioner. I'll give you this. I'll give you that. It will motivate us. So not discussing with us, not even involving us in your campaign, in your movement. My brother, where are we? If we did not keep this uh, Labour Party for these 24 years that have been there, if we did not keep this thing, madam, will you see any, any party to come and contest? We kept it. Even when we don't have candidates, we are there. So as everybody is saying, it's oh, over, come on for Labour Party now. Where did they go do there? No, we're going to another party. I said, no problem, I'm, I'll be there. I was there, Ash Lemenike was the first governor. I was there, OJJ Braid was the governor. I was there, Toye Prince we came. I was there, Isaac Wong who came. I'm there now. Uh, Beaches to Tuba have come. You understand me? I am going nowhere, I've been there. I have been there. I stand firm in this party. So, you see, when you are saying things are not going well, what will you do? What will be your reaction? What will be your reaction, my brother? You advise. What will be your reaction? Because you, I'm not, we don't have anything. We are not holding anything. Now we have a candidate, but we are not holding anything. So after the election, Madame will now come and block us at government house gate and say we will not enter. And she entered the party that we have suffered to protect for her all these years. Abba, no, no. But governance, they say governance is about the people. Won't you be bothered that you are not servicing the people first before you start talking about whether they, you will be given a position or not if, for adventure, 
Sorry, uh, am I not part of the people? Beatrice, it won't win. I'm asking you now, bros. Am I not part of the people? People now, which people now? Is it not we? I'm part of the people now. So the governance is what we. You understand? You will appreciate us first to say, ah, you people kept this party all this while. Thank God I came into this party and look at what I've transferred. Ah, you people, kudos to you. I think we'll be happy with that. But when you're not telling us anything, you're not putting us through, you're not doing anything, my brother, we don't have anything to hold. Did you understand me? We are not holding anything. I gave you instance last time that, uh, as of red, some candidates that lose, that lost the election, that did not go to court. My brother, they've left us. They've left the party. Some of them have gone back to their APC and their PDPs. We are still there. You understand? Soja goes, soja come, barrack remains. We are still in the barrack. We will still remain in the barrack. Do you understand me? We will remain in the barrack. That is it. So if the document nobody is fighting you, you are fighting yourself because you exposed yourself. You refuse to follow your election. As I thought election is cancelled. Why can't you go to court? To change their your mandate. Reclaim your mandate. Peter B is still going to court. He's working tirelessly. But you refuse to do it. And we are hearing that you've collected money. I told you, I called you on phone that ah, your election has been cancelled, or this that. You saw in our so that I should leave them. Leave them how? Who told you that she collected money? What? Do you have a name to who told you that I collected it's money? It's there now, my brother. This is politics. It's politics. It is politics. You understand me? We've heard it in Buguma. We've heard it. Like the money she collected when Peter B came. She, she, she said she will mobilize. She will mobilize. My brother, she collected good money from my chairman. Good money. If that Dogbo did not bring one boss to Peter B's campaign in, uh, at uh, Alikaya Stadium, she did not do anything. She had the money. They gave PCC money. She's part of PCC. They gave them money. They cut good money to her too. For mobilization, they did not do anything. She did not. She had the money. Okay, bringing us back to the, the campaign period that P2B came to Port Harcourt. There were also strong reports that the state A schools collected money from the national, but they did not bring it out for the campaigns. What can you make out of that? My brother, the state chairman shared the money to all the LGA chairmen. All the LGA chairmen some support groups, he gave them money. PCC members, he gave them money. Chairman cannot mobilize everybody. That was why he shared the money to everybody. Quote me. Everybody. To the extent, if the doctor that is not uh, an LGA chair, chairperson, they gave her money. There were reports that the money was up to 35 million naira. What? There were reports that the money was up to 35 million naira, okay. but some persons also out there, even after they camp after P2B had left, they were crying that the money was not utilized properly. What can you make out of that? My brother, I think uh, my state chairman, he has his own way of doing things. That's why they always tell me that Harry, you and chairman, you didn't encourage with chairman well, well. Oh. I, I, I stand firm to tell you when you're wrong. South, South, I do tell him. I quarrel with them. Anything I don't like, I told you before, I don't manage to like what I don't like. I tell you plain. What transpired? He said 35 million, thereabout. I don't know. You understand me? What I wanted is mobilize people. You understand me? Let the place be full. But all the people they gave money did not deliver. You understand me? Yes, the chairman, they tried in their own capacity. You understand? They've never in any day, since they are working with the Labour Party. They have not achieved anything. You understand? They tried in their own way. I was there at the park to record. That was why I didn't go to the platform to stay with them uh, at the platform there. I was recording the cars. If you bring bus, say, Obibo, come. How many bus did they bring? I'm recording it. I have the record. You understand me? So most people they gave money did not perform. He, they did not perform. You say, so it's annoying. Me too, I'm not happy about that. I was not happy at all. I quarreled with my chairman for like three weeks. Three good weeks. We don't, I don't talk to him. 
because I wasn't happy. That's my kind of person. You know so mobilization, they did what they can. But what else? We will not kill ourselves. I will not go and, they did not give me money. I didn't think they gave me money, my brother. I know what I can do. You understand me? I've seen money. I'm not a poor man. I know how to share money. I know how to give money. You understand me? But they didn't give me money. My chairman tried his best to do what he can. We are not the same. He's the A Papa and Mr. Harry. So we can't do the same thing. So he tried his own way in his own capacity. You understand me? So that is it. Okay, so lastly and lastly. Heda Dokubo, how will you resolve this matter with her? Heda Dokubo? Yeah, what do you want? Heda Dokubo remains my darling. She remains my love. Ask her. That's what I call her, my darling, my love. Because I developed love for her. That was why, even I, I'm going out with her without nothing. I, I have my money in my pocket. Anybody that comes around, I spend money. She collected money for her campaign, different places, but she did not spend it. Rather, making what at Abonima. I went to Abonima. I heard that she came to Abonima and started telling the people that if you don't, if you don't vote for me, I will swear wine for you. I will swear uh, what again? Uh, uh, what she? What did she say again? Sir? This is their juju stuff. That she will swear for them. The ladies now said, "Come on, go with your money." How much are you giving us? 500 naira. Either Dr. Bob will stoop, sometimes two people will share 500. You understand? I think they will call me and say, boy, leave it, eh? Leave it. Just come out. You understand me? If she wins, hold me responsible, I will carry all of you along. That's what I preach at Abonima and Asari Toro. Asari Toro own. The women at Asari Toro, they don't even want to see her. Because they were angry with her manner in which she's talking to them. You want these people. You want them to vote for you. You will romance them. It's not all about money. You understand me? Your, 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 your statement, the way you handle them, my brother, it will motivate them. You understand? Like the Constituency 2 uh, Assemblyman, his DG. Oh, went to Ward 7. I went there with the Asaga chairman. I said, please, let me see the Ward 7. The women, old women came out, quote me, that Imbre, leave it at Dokubo, Tamuna Fumba, that there's nothing they did not say. That if she called them, said they will not come out. That she is a fake woman. I follow women. No? I called them and calmed them down. Say, no, please, leave her alone. Hold me responsible. So many things that I've done is just responsible. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Because of her. Because she's my lovely sister. You understand? So I cannot kill my sister for anybody. So I keep telling them, no now, forgive her, forgive her. She making worry is not working with her. Beat is the tumor. Ida Dokubo is not working with Beatrice Tubo. There is no complaint that she has not complained about Ida Dokubo. Sorry, uh Beatrice Tubo. Even when Beatrice called for a meeting, she don't come. I'll call her. Ah, we have meeting. I beg leave that woman alone, leave that woman alone. There is no running election. Leave that woman alone, there is no running election. Now she wants to come and be steering committee that is not in our constitution to work against the woman or to go and bargain with somebody that she will yeah, arrange. I don't, I don't understand. So my brother, you see, the essence of it is either Dokubo remains my sister. Nobody in Labour Party can fight her or hurt her. The principal that she is calling cannot fight her. The day people she is calling cannot fight her. Nobody will fight her. Because if they try it, me, I will rise up against them. That is who I am. I can't fight my blood. So that her statement is very, very wrong. Thank you for the time. I so appreciate you, brother.